guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And I don't know why every single time I start vlogging, I happen to be listening to Timeless. It's because it's my favorite Taylor Swift song. Anyways, hey guys. Um, so in this vlog, I decided that I was in the vlogging mood today and I wanted to take you guys with me to once again go find a Taylor magazine and this one is People magazine and it has a picture of Taylor at the Eras tour on it and it just seems like a really good collector's item and it's like a special edition of People and so I am very 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 excited to go get it and I have not seen it in person yet I know a lot of people are finding it in Barnes and Noble like grocery stores Target so I'm seeking her out today I'm in front of Barnes & Noble I think I'm feeling a pumpkin chai and there's a Starbucks in this Barnes & Noble so I'm tempted also I need like a little kick of caffeine that the chai might provide me because the VMAs are tonight and I don't know if Taylor's going but she is nominated and my baby midnights is nominated so I'm like I don't know Last time she was at the VMA, she announced Midnight, so who knows if she's gonna go. I kind of think she will because she has so many nominations, but we'll find out together in this vlog. I just, I felt like picking up the camera. You guys are my friends, and so I just wanted to vlog for you guys. So let's go find that magazine. Okay, so this is the one that I came in here for. It's the People exclusive. I'm definitely getting this one. I'm convinced to get this one. It's by Modern Day Icons, I think. Or maybe that's the name of it. But it has posters. Um, like, you can tell. Like, like the folklore dress, the red era. This one is 1675. And this one, this one is 1499. I think I'm gonna get this one. This is the one I was on the mission for. This is the one I got in the other vlog. I don't have this one. There's also this. But these aren't official. This one's official because it's US Weekly. And so is this one. So these are like fan magazines, but they're still really cute and I'm very tempted. Okay, magazine has been secured. So I did go ahead and just get the People magazine. It's so pretty, like I love her so much and I love collector's pieces like this just because like it shows her whole life and oh my God, like the fan pictures, like and the old pictures like of her and her dad and like her meeting fans, her re-recording journey, the man music video, the VMAs from last year, right there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna manifest that Taylor goes because I really would love to like, just like make this a finding a Taylor magazine and VMA vlog. So I'm gonna make it that, but let's see if Miss Swift wants to join. Is my camera fogging up? No. Also, I got my beloved pumpkin chai. There is no other drink I love more than this. Like, this is... She is beauty. She is great. She tastes so good. Oh my god. I'm addicted. Like, I am very much the person who goes to Dunkin' more than Starbucks, but recently, with their fall drinks, the tables have turned. Starbucks really said I can make all the tables turn because I'm so serious like that has been my craving and I cannot stay away from it so anyways I will see you guys later when maybe VMA festivities start you'll see when I see I just woke up from a little nap by little nap I literally mean 15 minute nap um, Selena is going she's on her way she looks so beautiful 
Um, now we wait to see if Taylor's gonna show up. I need to also sign up for a trial of Paramount Plus um, so I can actually watch it. Oh, that's scary. I was like, what was that? It was the, it was the AC. I was like, why did my door just randomly shut? Is that a ghost? Anyways, I'm so excited. I pray Taylor goes because that means we get Taylina content and those are my girlies. All right, hi, hello. Coming at you live because, well, live for me, not live for you. I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm doing like the, the 50 yard dash, the swifty yard dash. Wow, that was really cringy. Um, because I was downstairs, I had it on, and uh, they did like a Taylor tribute like they were like she's boosting the economy she has 11 nominations tonight and they showed like all her like vma history and now i'm scared like i i really want her to come please come taylor it'll be so much fun if you do um so i'm gonna go shower really quick because there's like 20 minutes until it actually starts so I, I, I'm going to set my phone to charge because I'm going to watch it downstairs because my dad's logged into his Paramount Plus downstairs. Um, so I'm going to watch it down there. But, uh, I need to stop talking and just go shower, but I'm going to charge my phone. So the next clip you guys see of me will be me checking my phone to see if Taylor showed up after I shower. Wish me luck. Don't leave me alone. You said you like my eyes and you like to make them roll. Okay, Sabrina. All right, solid update. Taylor has not shown up. Um, as of right now, it is 7.57. The woman has not showed up. Um, I'm sat. I'm not wearing any Midnight's merch. I'm wearing my fearless pajamas I kind of feel like that's a crime because midnight's like I, I love midnights okay like I, I feel like she's definitely like my stan album like I'm I literally cannot get enough of midnights I can't get enough of any of Taylor's albums but like something about midnights is just like so special to me anyways and I don't even own the uh, the midnights blanket which is also strange for me um it's definitely on like my wish list for taylor's merch shop but like you can't have everything so and she was 75 dollars. i just haven't made the purchase yet but um i did get a fuzzy blanket off the couch so we're rolling but taylor has not showed up selena looks so good sabrina looks incredible kelsey looks incredible like my girlies i'm one i'm also like wondering if taylor's actually <gasps> no is that real? Is or is somebody just absolutely being Is wait, is somebody just being mean or is she there? Because somebody just tweeted a picture and I don't know if it's fake. That is real. Oh my god, <laughs> she's there. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh, sorry. My hair on the weekend. Come. It is incredible. The energy today has been absolutely amazing since we first stepped foot on the She's there. She always shows up late. She's there. <laughs> right now <laughs> she looks so good help help are you fine i'm trying not to cuss why is she the cutest little pumpkin all right taylor's nominate first award of the night let's go T. Time. I love Ed. Taylor. Taylor. Taylor was just like, she is one of the fangirls, okay? Like, she was going ham when NSYNC walked out. 
I want it to be anti-hero. Also, Olivia's performance was just incredible. I just wanted to say that. Oh, that's a good song too. Oh, Taylor, 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 Taylor. I'm shaking. And the VMA goes to. Oh, Taylor's gonna be so excited if she gets this award by them. The unstoppable Taylor Swift. Yes! <laughs> At tea time, everybody agrees. I. That's. Oh, Selena's just proud bestie. Help. Did they just give her a friendship bracelet? You're kidding me. That's the most iconic thing I've ever seen. That is the most iconic thing. They, it, NSYNC just gave Taylor a friendship bracelet. Fully fangirling. She's the cutest human I've ever seen. Look who I'm, to... look who I'm FaceTiming. <laughs> say hi, say your hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. She thinks I cut it out every single time I say it. I don't mean to, but now she has her moment. Like you, make me wanna act like a girl. Paint my nails and wear high heels. Yes, you make me so nervous that I, I think I. Oh yes, Kelsey's up, as she should be. I love Demi. Okay, look. Look, here's the thing. Well, I wanna so, know what Taylor just said. Wait, Taylor said what? Are they about to show her? I'm on a delay from Natalie. Oh, she said, oh, period. Yes, my girls. Oh. Oh, yeah. Or she said, oh, yes, or something like that. As she should. You know what? She's probably hyped because Demi left Scooter Braun. Demi is slaying. Like, I am obsessed with this performance. Can Demi to her, please? Please. I need to see Demi live. Like, it's a must. Okay, we're on song of the year now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm having a blast. Like, yeah, I've watched award shows, like, literally since, like, oh, Selena. I'd love it if she won this. Um, but I've literally watched award shows for Taylor for like since I can remember like I remember when she got her first standing ovation at the Grammys I used to watch CMAs for this woman, but like there's just something so nostalgic about watching award shows um, And just like screaming and like cheering Taylor on um, Time and time again like it never gets old like I'm just having so much fun and to think like I've done that for these many years and I'm just like still it just makes me like emotional like it must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero come on let's get let's get midnight's another award okay Everybody 
agrees. Oh, Kelsey's sitting right behind her. <gasps> Sabrina! My girls, I swear. Oh my God. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. He is so talented, it's incomprehensible, and I'm so lucky. I've been making music with him since we worked on an album called 1989. <laughs> we will continue working together till 2089. Great. Um, Thank you for the amazing I, update. That's the update I needed. The math doesn't math. Um, but anyway, so I, <laughs> I am so, so happy because this is validating um, my favorite part of what I get to do. I, I started writing songs when I was 12, Aww. and it always starts with a very isolated emotion, like a very, um, a very specific type of insecurity or self-loathing that I feel like I'm the only one who is feeling in that moment. But then, Aww. like when I go out on tour and I've got a stadium singing the words back to me, it, it brings me to this very um, um, relaxing feeling of maybe we all have the same issues. So, thank you so much to the fans. I love you so much. This means the world to me. Thank you. I love you so much. Selena just won uh, for Calm Down with Rima. I love Selena too. Like, Guys, I have to be honest, I was getting real comfortable. Selena looks so gorgeous. I love that dress. First of all, I want to give big thanks to God. I want to give big thanks to Okay, hello. It is now time for Best Direction, and I really want Taylor to win this because she directed Anti Hero, and I feel like she deserves it. Like, I really feel like she does. She directed it herself. Like, come on. I'm also getting very tired. It is 11.03, and I thought it was actually supposed to end at 11, but it's apparently supposed to end at like 12. I'm gonna be tired tomorrow. My cat came downstairs to like find me. It's Taylor. Taylor, please. I just want to. Okay, listen. Okay, shut the. And the winner is Best Direction Anti Hero. T. Time. Everybody agrees. I stand directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. Funny how I'll always be rooting for the anti-hero. I love her so much. I'm suddenly not tired anymore. Thank you so much. You absolutely 
played the parts perfectly. I'm so, so lucky to get to direct and to get to write my music videos. I love it so much. So thank you so much for being amazing. I adore you. I do. Oh, so slay. And it stings rolling up the welcome mat, knowing you got half. Oh, so slay. Tell him. I kissed someone new last night. Now I don't care where you're sleeping. Okay. Video of the year. I'm scared. I feel like it's Taylor. Like, I feel like it's just gonna be a sweep. But we'll see. Swift Antihero. so much. She's so so much. Why am I to tear up? Like, not the tears in my eyes. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> it's just like watching her shine all these years and constantly like getting to watch her grow like as a fan has been so rewarding like and will continue to be forever rewarding to me like I remember seeing her get her first standing ovation at the Grammys and now like she's just shining like there is not a bigger artist that I can think of right now and it's just I'm so proud of her I'm so proud of her um this honestly has been a very good VMAs, but it's been very long. Like the performances, in my opinion, were so good. Like loved Demi, loved Kelsey. Those were definitely my top two. Um, but it just like getting to see Taylor, like, oh, Olivia did so good too. Um, but I just like getting to celebrate Taylor and like watch her like dance around is just, so happy like especially like after reputation like before reputation like 2016 like what i mean is when we didn't know if taylor was ever gonna you know be at these award shows like she used to be um in 2016 and then it evolved into reputation and then like she became more comfortable with coming back to them like my heart i am i'm i i couldn't be more proud of her like it's so funny like she could be the, she is the biggest artist in the world right now and to me she's just always gonna be Taylor not Taylor Swift like she's just if that makes sense like she's just so personable and so cute and so um, not about herself she wants to celebrate everybody else it's just she she could be the biggest performer in the world and to me she's just gonna still always be that curly haired um girl singing about high school and it's so crazy to watch like her grow from that into who she is now and she's just always remained the same humble person in the terms of everything but 
in specifics to this conversation like just her getting up and like getting so excited every time she wins like she's like you never know if it's gonna be like your last time walking on a stage like I love how humble and kind she is I am her biggest fan <laughs> I love Taylor so much I'm going to bed but I love her endlessly Hello you guys, so it is the next day and so I thought a fun way to conclude this video, this little vlog, which I had so much fun. Watching Taylor on award shows just always makes me so happy. I was like sleep deprived last night when I was talking and rambling, but seriously, like getting to watch her grow and continue to shine is just something I will always hold so close to my heart. Like I can remember when Taylor was like, you know the curly haired um girl and she was on the stage at the country music awards and like now she's like sweeping the vma she won nine out of 11 of her awards which is incredible and i'm just so 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 proud of her um her after party look she looked phenomenal when does she not but like my point is i thought it would be fun to conclude this vlog because I want to try the ice spice drink from Duncan. Now, I love, I eat it up when there's celebrity collaborations at like fast food places. Like, I want to try it. Um, and if you guys know me, you know I love Duncan to the core. So, Ice Spice came out with a ice spice munchkins drink. Now, I want to read you what this drink is. I have her right here and it looks so good i am so excited um i just went and picked it up so i'm gonna read the order to you so you guys can know and it's available on their board i didn't know if it would be on the board so i went ahead and i mobile ordered it but if you go under frozen drinks on the app, it's there. It's the Ice Spice Munchkins drink. And I learned last night while watching the VMAs, I'm pretty sure the Ice Spice calls her fans Munchkins, which is so cute. She was wearing like a Munchkins necklace. It was the cutest thing. So inspired by musical artist Ice Spice, the new drink features frozen coffee blended with pumpkin munchkin donut treats, caramel drizzle, whipped cream, and more caramel drizzle on top. So here it is. I am such a pumpkin fan and I am such a sucker for like caramel stuff so my universe just shifted oh my god oh my god look if you like pumpkin run do not walk and it's so good with the caramel why did I say that so weird I love Duncan's frozen drinks in general like their frozen hot chocolate is out of this world but this is so good it has like the pumpkin flavoring to it and it has like a little i love drinks also that have like little bits of stuff to like chew on like that is so good but it's not like it's getting stuck in the straw or anything this is going to be gone so fast this is a this is a 13 out of 10 so cheers to ice spice winning best new artist last night and i saw ice spice at metlife with taylor they did the karma remix together so just cheers cheers to ice spice cheers to taylor's vmas and Cheers to music, honestly. I lo I'm such like a, you know, I was born to be a fangirl. It's just who I'm meant to be. So, I love that drink. And I love you guys. I love Taylor. I just feel so much gratitude towards that woman. I, 
I just see clips of her and like her just having the time of her life and like that's always who she's been at award shows like she's always been the one to stand up and cheer and clap and scream um, for everybody and I love that about her she's everybody's biggest cheerleader and she's just such an authentic human being and it just moves me honestly to know I chose such a good role model someone so amazing to look up to so I'm so glad I started vlogging it's funny because like I said in the beginning of this vlog I had no idea if Taylor was gonna show up but Miss Swift showed up and she looked so good but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I adore vlogs. I love just filming for you guys. You guys mean so much to me. And yeah, there's so much coming. So definitely subscribe if you love Taylor Swift. This is the channel for you. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you. You watching. <laughs> in the next one. Bye, guys.